Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll show you how to replace the battery in a late 2009 MacBook. When replacing the battery in this machine, it's important that you calibrate the power management system in order to get the full use of your battery. We include these instructions as well, so be sure to watch all the way to the end of the video. We've already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the MacBook, and are working on a soft static-free surface. We're now ready to begin. The first step is to close the lid and flip it over. There are a total of eight Phillips screws that will need to be removed. Start with the top four. Then remove the bottom four. Once all eight screws have been removed, simply lift up on the bottom cover in order to detach the clips on the inside. Once they're detached, you can set the bottom cover aside. The battery is located in the lower left corner of the MacBook. The first thing we'll need to do is detach the battery connector. Simply lift it straight up and out of its socket. Next, we'll need to remove these three Phillips screws holding the outer edge of the battery in place. Next, we have to remove three trilobe screws. The two on the right are out in the open, while the one on the left is hidden under a label. Once you've removed the screws, you can lift up on the plastic tab to remove the battery from the MacBook. Set the new battery into the bay, making sure the notches in the bottom end line up with the tabs in the MacBook. Replace the three trilobe screws along the inner side. And the three Phillips screws along the outer edge. Then, reattach the battery by lining up its connector with its socket and pushing it into place. You can now set the bottom cover back into place. Press down on the edges and near the lower center to re-engage the clips. Finally, replace the eight Phillips screws that hold the bottom cover on. You may now flip your MacBook over, open it up, and turn it on. Now that the battery is installed and working, we need to calibrate the power system. We'll be demonstrating the process with a MacBook Pro, but it's the same for all MacBook models. First, shut your computer all the way down. Then, attach the power adapter. The light on the adapter should turn amber to show that the battery is charging. Once the battery is 100% charged, the light should turn green. Once it has, you should leave it connected for at least two more hours. However, you can use your computer during this time rather than leaving it off. After that, we'll need to discharge the battery. First, in the Energy Saver Preference pane, make sure all the sliders are set to the right and any power saving measures, like sleeping the hard drive, are turned off. Do this for both the power adapter and the battery settings. Once you've done that, disconnect the power cable and let the battery discharge completely until the computer shuts down. You can still use it at this time, but don't do anything particularly heavy. Steady and even usage will result in better power system calibration. Once the battery is discharged, your computer will automatically shut down. Leave it shut down for at least five hours to ensure the battery is completely drained. Finally, reattach the power cable and let the battery charge back up to 
This time, you can use the computer while it's charging. Once the battery is charged back up, the power management system is properly calibrated. You can now set your energy saver settings back to what they were before and use your computer normally. 